Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and in this video we'll be designing the final piece of the puzzle, the footer. Now in the initial website, the footer that I showed you was pretty easy. We created a simple row with some background color. It was divided into two parts. Uh, the first part is having some of the addresses, second part having some of the social media and just below that another row going simple like that. This time it's a little improvisation because I wanted to show you some of the more cool stuff that you can do because having this is pretty easy. We can just be done within a few minutes. And don't worry, this is also super easy, just a minor improvisation. Also, I'll give you a little bit of the assignment. I hope you can do that. That's gonna be a little bit tricky as well. So just stay focused there. So first and foremost, we will be creating two classes here, the footer dash one and dot for classes. And the only thing that we are looking up for is a background color. So I copy this color and we'll say, hey, background, I want you to have this color. So nice and easy. Now what we want is a copy of this and we'll have this one, but this time I'll hover over it. I think this is a default feature for VS Code, but if not, I'm not pretty sure that if it is that some plugin that's kicking in. All I want is a little bit the darker shade of this uh, coffee color. Again, I'm not changing the saturation by moving left and right. I'm changing the bit of the lightness and the darkness of the color by moving a bit on the lower side. Not much, a little bit, so that subtlety is still there. And by the way, you can pause the video and write this new color, which is 462822. Save that and that's all the CSS we need. Now, just a moment, wait for a second and see. Just this much of the CSS and can you even imagine the website is looking this much of beautiful? And so fast to design, such templates take uh, sometimes weeks to design and we have designed it within just a day or couple. So there we go. So let's go ahead and figure out to how to use these footer one and footer not one, footer two. So there we go, footer one and footer two, two classes are there. Now let's go into the index. I have closed down the sort of view. We will be creating a footer section. This will be a little different from our original website or original theme that we wanted to follow for this particular video. So section, my favorite footer, favorite footer, there we go. And we'll have directly a footer here, but this time the footer will contain a bit of the classes here. So I'll have a, uh, footer dash one so that everything looks nice and easy in this entirety of the class. We will have a bit of overwriting in a minute, but that's all what we'll be having. Let's create a container. Let's create a container and inside the container, uh, we will be creating, we will be moving some things outside of the container as well to make it look a bit more easier. Uh, we'll be working on that. So we'll have a container. And inside the container, we'll have a div dot row. And inside the row, we need uh, two columns. So we'll have a div dot call. The first column is gonna say that on the larger screen, take half of it. On smaller screen, take the full 12 column width. I'll copy and duplicate that. And that's gonna be the easy part here. The first part is gonna say that I want to have some of the contact us information. So H4 with the class of white dash text and we'll say contact contact us and just below that we'll have a paragraph again with not white this time gray text so gray dash text there we go and this time we'll say some of the address here maybe so we are gonna say uh, ABC 507 we'll go for Delhi and India pretty easy address and I'll have one more line here to give the mobile number as well. And it is compulsory to give mobile number here because I'll give you some of the assignments based on this. So plus nine one, which is India code and a lot of nines, probably 10, 10 nines. I don't know how many they are. Save that. And I'll grab this one again, H4. We'll go inside this below. And this time this is gonna say social media. Media. There we go, looks nice and easy. Now just below that, I would like to create some of the unordered list and list items. Uh, feel free to go however you like to go with that. I'll go just below that, unordered list with some of the list item. And we'll have an anchor tag with a class of gray dash text. Yes, I use emit a lot, I just love it. It makes life so much easier. This is gonna say Facebook, I'll duplicate uh, one here, which will say Facebook, my favorite, of course. 
Instagram. And one thing that I don't use is gonna be Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I don't like it much. Save that and how is it looking? So you can see the footer is pretty nice and easy. Very subtle. Definitely colors can use a little bit of improvement, but this is looking all good and nice. So nice footer. Now I'll add one more footer here, uh, just like this. So I'll just first and foremost minimize these stuff and this stuff. Okay, so these are looking nice. I'll have another one of the row, just like we have created this row. And I like to shrink that. I'll create another row here. So this time we'll say uh, div dot row. This time this row will have a class of footer dash two. And we'll have two of the columns inside in here. So div dot call. And I'll again say on the larger screen, take half of it. On the smaller screen, just go all the way 12. And we'll need two of you. And the first one will say uh, some of the copyright information. So I'll just add a paragraph with white text or text white. Forgot that. Uh, need to check that. It was white text. Okay. So white text goes there. And I'll say ampersand copy. And this is going to say Cafe King. How this is going to look like. And there we go. And this one is looking nice, but you can see the color is not looking very beautiful. We want this one to expand all the way up. We will do that. That's a pretty easy fix that we can have. And I'll show you the reason why this is happening, because why is the most important thing. And we'll have another one here. What should we write? Of course, P dash, and we'll have white text this time. And this entire project was designed by the team. So we'll say designed by LCO team. There we go, nice and easy. Now the most important thing is that you under, you need to understand why this is just looking so awkward, first and foremost, due to colors. And we don't want to, this one to just go like this one here. I want it to go all the way expanded like that. This is all containerized, because remember, just above the row, we are having a container. So this is the one thing. So what we can do, there are multiple ways, remove this container, or what you can do is, you can just move this entire uh, second row and the div of it. I think this one, let me sh see that first. Yep, this is the div and this is the div. So I can just cut all of this, move outside of the container, paste that, and there we go. Now we are having all of this goes just like that. This is looking pretty beautiful and the subtleties are kicking in nicely. So I hope you can see that, how quickly we were able to do it. Now, I'm gonna give you a few assignment as well because you were able to design all of this. Now, watch this carefully. You have to do this assignment. So for, I'll create two teams here. The team number one, the first team that you are the beginners, what you have to do is add a little bit of the margin on the left side of this cafe king. This is not looking nice here. That's the one thing. Also, I want icons just outside or just on the right side of the home, on about us, on coffee, surprise, and contact us too. You have to use materialized icon. They should be pretty small and look should absolutely beautiful. What icon to use? That's totally up to you. Also, at the very bottom of the footer, remember these are contact us information. What I want you to do is in this contact us, there should be again some icons uh, before the address as well as on the mobile number. And also what you're gonna do is Cafe King is on the left side. This design is on middle-ish. I don't want it to the middle-ish. I want it to be extremely on the right by using the material CSS and a little bit of the custom CSS. So can you do this? Okay, that's for the team one. Now team two, what you're gonna do is yours is gonna be a bit of a tough job. As you can see, the coffee color is uh, quite easy and quite nice here. What I want you to do is uh, just use custom CSS pretty much all the way long. And I want this to be a darker theme, a darker theme, not for the black, but for the coffee theme. So entirety of these background that you can see every single place behind the cards, behind this about us should turn into coffee and all the text, all the text is gonna be now in the white. So can you do that? I would love to see if you are able to complete the assignment and show me a story or a video on the Instagram because that's where I'm mostly active. So make sure you do that. And by the time you'll be finished doing all of this up, you will be pretty intermediate in using any component of Materialize. I hope you have enjoyed this course. If you have enjoyed it, 
please do share it with your other friends. Uh, we need a little bit more such things to reach out more audience so that we can help more people. That's it for this video and let's catch up in some other course.